Trojan family, Trojan gang. Bought on forever, it's in the building. And today, as an LA native, I gotta talk about the Blue Crow. I gotta talk about the Dodgers. Now, a couple years ago, I told myself, I'm not paying attention to the Dodgers during the regular season. I'm just not. They always gonna be great during the regular season. They always gonna win the NL West. It's all about the playoffs. To me, the Dodgers probably been the best team in baseball the last seven years. Like, let's be real, they've been the best team in ba- I bet you, if we get the record of the teams the last seven years, I bet you the Dodgers is, is either one or two will win or loss. I bet you the Dodgers is number one in payroll. I bet you the Dodgers is either number one and two and just stack talent. So over 162 games, the Dodgers, they're going to show that talent they're going to win. So I never pay attention to the Dodgers, Dodgers in the regular season. Without that, since 2017, it's still only, what, one championship. Right. And why the L.A., why did the Lakers and Dodgers have to win their championship in the in the COVID years? Like, it never even happened. It, it, it ain't worth less to me, but it's like, damn, like, why our teams, why the L.A. teams, the Lakers and the Dodgers, we have to win championships in the COVID year? I would have rather won the year before COVID or the year after. Like, it, it put less shine on it. Like, can't celebrate it the same. It just don't even feel the same, right? So I don't watch the Dodgers and pay attention to the Dodgers until the postseason. But this year, I don't know, man. There's something different with this team. There's something different with this team. The top of that lineup is legendary. The 1927 Yankees, which they call Murderer's Row, with all the great players they had, right? They had an OPS of 127. That was the New York 1927 Yankees, one of the greatest teams ever. They Murderer's Row had an OPS of 127. Now, we only 35 games in. So that means it's what, another 130 more, another 127 more, right? But as of 35 games in, the Dodgers OPS is 129. It's 129, even better than the 1927 Yankees, Murderers Row. Otani, a cheat code. And whenever he get back to pitching, the Dodgers pitching rotation gonna be sick. Like they sick this year, next year, they'll even be sicker. Cause you got Glass, no? He balling. He 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 an ace type player. He he he'll be a number one pitcher on a lot of teams. Right? Then you got Yamamoto, who after his first start, his, the ERA is what? 169, I think. And then Walker Bruner coming back. People forgot about him, but before he got hurt, he was an MVP candidate. He was carrying the Dodgers. It's like, I seen Clayton Kersh- Kershaw pass the torch to Walker Bruner two years ago. So that's three aces right there with Glassnow, Bruner, and Yamamoto. They add Otani next year? What? Otani? MVP Cy Young talent? Bruler and get glass no all of them is MVP talent if Yamamoto keep at his 1.69 ERA he gonna be better than all of them and then you still got the old dog Kershaw still lurking that could give you some innings so I gotta say something because they look at historical right now in the top of that lineup is brutal MV, they all MVP level Mookie Betts we know MVP Freddie Freeman MVP Show Tani MVP level type players. Then you got Will Smith and Max Muncie. Then Tay Oscar Hernandez. Like, man, 
I gotta start covering the blue crew. I got to, cause I ain't gonna miss an LA team that that's looking historical, that got the potential to be historical. No way. <laughs> no way. So man, y'all better watch out for the blue crew. Like, I usually don't pay attention to the postseason, but I ain't finna miss no legendary ride that these that this this team I take. I think how they look, they look like they could go on a two, three year run where it's just epic. I'm talking about dominant, real ballers. And I heard Walker Bueller, like I said, he coming back. Ooh we. Ooh we. And so Tiny, he just a cheat code. I mean, crushing home runs, opposite, opposite field, 464. Like, uh, like he one of the best hitters. Like, who is this dude? Like, is he even real? Like, how you gonna be literally like a top five level hitter? Right? Literally. No exaggeration. And be a top five type pitcher with the ability to be a number one hitter and a number two pitcher and a number one pitcher as well. Now you got some pitchers out there. Chris Sale looking nice. That one dude, I, I can't pronounce his name. He, he's he's another Japanese. I think he pitched for the Cubs. I hope I ain't wrong. Like That dude ERA is like 0.7. Seven, eight, something like that. But Otani, he he got the ability to be the number one. And he's damn sure the number one player when you could pitch like a Randy Johnson or a, a Roger Clemens or a Sandy Koufax. When you could pitch like Sandy Koufax and hit like Bay Roof. Where did you come from? Like, no, for real. That's like being able to. That's like being the number one quarterback and the number one defensive end or something. That's like a Patrick Mahomes could play defensive end and get 15 sacks. How much would he be worth? Patrick Mahomes is playing quarterback. Would he worth 500 mil? They giving him five, six hundred mil. Now imagine he he could play defensive end and, 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 and had a number like T.J. Watt. We will be like, what the hell is going on? And this is what Shohei and Ta Otani is. Like, I don't know how he ain't talked about more. And that's even from me. Even I've been sleeping on him. I had to sit back and think about it. Like, wait. This that picture that I see the Angels had that be throwing, throwing them strikes. And I knew that he played offense as well. But I didn't know that he was a monster with the bat. I thought he was this competent. No, he a monster. What? We probably witnessing the greatest baseball player of all time. In the way he could play both sides, he he gonna be in a running for the for the greatest athlete ever. And I'm just keeping it real. And I'm a Michael Jordan, Deion Sanders, Kobe Bryant type fan. But if Show Ho and Tiny have a whole career of being a top five batter or even a top 10 with the bat and top 10 with pitching he gotta go down as one of the greatest baseball players for sure ever like where they do that at? like i said it's like if sandy koufax could swing the ball between the bat like babe roof we would be like our vice versa and i know babe roof used to pitch but he wasn't on koufax level so this that, that's what Otani is. It's like Koufax with pitching and, and Barry Bonds with the bat. Like, don't play. <laughs> the blue crew. So till then, man. I'm gonna come out. I'm finna start coming out y'all with this Dodger video. Cause I ain't finna I ain't finna miss this historic ride. I have a feeling it's gonna be historic for the Dodger. I have a feeling we're gonna see be it's which witnessing history in the making right now. And I ain't gonna miss it. And the Lakers got eliminated and USC ain't playing like this the best thing smoking in LA right now them Dodgers so you know quarter sports gotta bring it it's LA so until then it's quarter sports it's USC it's Chavez Ravine them Dodgers it's them Lakers 
next year what we gonna do i'm gonna talk about that next next time Dover have got fired i'm gonna i'm we gonna talk about what the moves the lakers should make so we keep lebron or not and it's fight on forever laker nation forever and the blue crew it's the new crew so let's go Thank you.